Welcome back to the Guitar Search Saturdays. My name's Shane. In today's video, we've got another episode on location here in Hawaii. We're checking out Westside Music. Firstly, a massive thank you to Ron for letting us do this walkthrough. It's a great shop. They're a great bunch of guys. So if you find yourself in the town of Honolulu, make the trek out and check out their store. I'll leave links to their stuff in the description below. Also, a massive thank you to Rhiannon for her help with the camera on this one yet again. So I think I might owe her a favor if we can find a guitar she likes from this shop. We might pick it up. Let's go in and take a look. Westside Music was first opened in 2012. Ron, the store owner, has had over 35 years experience in the guitar retail scene, and he knows his stuff. Not only does Westside Music feature an on-site repair service, but they feature guitars, amplifiers, ukuleles, PA equipment, pedals, microphones, and a whole lot more. Ron's got such a great collection of used guitars and amplifiers, and I think you're gonna get a kick out of what there is on display. Again, if you wanna check out this shop, I'll link it down below. Ron, thanks again for letting us do this walkthrough. I thought we'd start with the amplifier and guitar room, which is right through this door. All right, so we're in the amplifier and guitar room. Now, all the guitars in here are used. So if you're looking for a great acoustic or an electric guitar, they've got lots of different brands. And this is the cool thing about coming into a shop that stocks used gear because you don't just find the same old stuff you find in every other shop. I've just spotted this on the wall. This is a Squire Classic Vibe. And this Stratocaster is really light, which is a very good point of difference from the Telecaster version, which actually weighs quite a lot. Now we get three standard single coils in this guitar. And one of the things that really separates the classic vibe stuff from the Affinity series is the finish on the neck, for starters. That's usually a little bit more premium, as you can see. And the pickups, these pickups are completely giggable. If you're doing it a gig or recording or whatever, these sound just as good as any high-end Strat in my experience, because I've actually owned one of these in a different color, but great guitar and super lightweight as well. Beautiful instruments. Here we have a Fender Professional Series Stratocaster, and the thing you'll notice first and foremost is we get a rosewood neck. Now this does increase the weight of the guitar, but it looks absolutely stunning, and it really looks great with this sort of olive sparkle finish that this guitar has. Another great thing about the Professional Series is we get locking tuners, which are my second favorite style of tuners next to the vintage ones. Now that's debatable, of course, and if you've got a Gibson, you might like the locking ones more. When it comes to strats, these ones are great. Fender make great locking tuners. And the tremolo arm is set up beautifully. This just, this just feels like a million bucks. It is floating, so if you're happy with that floating style, then yeah, it's set up really, really beautifully. Here we have a Marshall MG30FX amplifier. This little guy is one of the best pedal platforms for its size. It's tiny, it does have a lot of built-in effects and drive channel and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're looking for a great home practice amplifier and something loud enough to actually jam with friends with, this is a really great option. I think this is one of the most underrated pedal platforms you can find. Completely solid state, but you plug in and it rocks. I did a full video about this and how well it handles pedals, and if you missed it, I'll link it up in the cards. But it's great seeing one of these. They're super lightweight. They're very, very inexpensive in the grand scheme of amplifiers. And I would take this over a lot more popular options any day of the week just based on the kinds of tones you can get when you use pedals into the front end. I just saw an amplifier that I actually own. This is a Fender Blues Deluxe reissue with a single 12 inch speaker. These are one of the best clean channel amps of all time. They're rated at 45 watts and you can kind of crank these up on the clean channel without it distorting. So if you're looking for a high headroom clean channel amplifier, these are the way to go. They're fairly portable as well in terms of their weight and they're really easy to make speaker upgrades to if you choose to change the speaker. But they do have a drive channel, but I think the star of the show with these is by far the clean channel with pedals. Great pedal platform. That's the reason why I ended up buying another one right after I sold my original one. Made no sense, but I did that. Great amps, I highly recommend them. All right, here's a really interesting guitar. This is a Godan, it's the G-Series USA model. Let's take a look at this. As you can see from the headstock here, it says G-Series USA. Now. 
Godin guitars are made in Canada, but this one is assembled in the US, in New Hampshire. So interesting that they bring them over the border to get assembled, but I guess that gives it that whole USA vibe. So a good mix of both Canada and US involved in this particular guitar. We get three pickups. We get a humbucker in the bridge and two single coils, both in the neck and middle position. And it also looks like you can coil tap the bridge humbucker back to single coil. So you are getting that typical Strat tone or you can get it more of a hot rodded sound thanks to the humbucker here. It's also a hard tail piece here. So there's no tremolo arm or anything like that, which is interesting. If we take a look at the back of the guitar. It's a string through body and the neck here is also really, really nice. Rosewood fingerboard, nice little dot inlays. I think that's your new guitar. Hiya. This is in the Garden Club. Ooh. This might be the holy grail guitar in the shop here. Wow. 1956 Gibson Les Paul that's been heavily modded. We'll take a look up close. This guitar has been heavily modified by Arturo Valdez, who's one of the premier guitar builders and luthiers in the Hollywood, California area. Arturo Valdez has worked with countless professionals over the years, and this guitar has been modded in a way that wasn't typical of its time whatsoever. Some of the major upgrades with the electronics was a neck pickup. This guitar doesn't come with a neck pickup normally, so that's been added. We also have two tone controls and two volume controls with the three-way toggle switch, which also wasn't a thing with a Les Paul Jr. But if we take a look at the back of the guitar, you can really see how much work has been put into this by modifying the contour on the heel here. This modification is so good that most people wouldn't tell if they didn't know ahead of time this wasn't how it was supposed to be. The belly cut up here is a great addition to any Les Paul, making it far more comfortable to play and also a little lighter. Due to the age of this guitar, it's not uncommon to see this, but there is a crack on the headstock. It does feel pretty smooth to the touch, and the tuners have also been replaced with what looks to be a different brand completely. The tuners are made in Germany, so odds are they're shallow tuners, but I'm not 100% certain. This is a great example of why I love guitar shops that sell used gear. You find gems like this that you just won't find anywhere else. There it is, the truss rod cover, restored by Valdez. If you're into vintage acoustic guitars, this has just shocked me how much great stuff is in here. Although there's not like a mass quantity of stuff, there's what they have is really, really special. And this, these two here are both amazing. That, that one too is amazing. But we'll start with this little guy over here. Oh, wow. This is 1940s Martin acoustic guitars, the 018. And this is a much smaller footprint than your typical acoustic guitar. It's in spectacular condition as well. I, I much prefer these kind of smaller acoustics, maybe because I'm a shorter guy, but they're just easier to store, they're easier to carry. And man. Sounds like a million bucks. I'm gonna be very careful with this one right here. This is a Gibson L4 from 1936. So this is a completely hollow body guitar. So. It's extremely light, which means it's for jazzers. This has been well played over the years and still in pretty decent condition considering it's from 1936. Wow, take a look at this neck. But I'll bring it in close here. We get what looks to be a V-neck on a Gibson, which is something I've never seen before. Now, if you're a Gibson aficionado, you probably know more about this than I do, but I've not seen one of these before in person with this exact shape. So. Beautiful. It's got that beautiful contoured back here as well. The tuners look to be originals as well. Have a look at the logo here too, by the way. It's completely different to how it looks now. Oh my God. Yeah. The logo definitely looks different. And we get these beautiful inlays. Um, just really stunning. Just a quick overview of some of these great acoustic guitars. So I just showed you this little guy here, the 1940s Martin. We have a 1950s triple 018 Martin acoustic guitar here. So 10 years between them. They both look almost identical minus the size. This one's the regular sort of acoustic size. We got a 1958 J50 from Gibson <laughs> right next to these two. So 
Some of the best vintage acoustic guitars I've seen on the island here. It's absolutely stunning. It's not just vintage guitars here at Westside Music. They've also got a great range of stuff for beginners, intermediate players, and someone looking for a fairly new instrument that doesn't break the bank. This is a Court 8810 acoustic guitar. This is a Dreadnought, which means it doesn't have the cutaway here. Court are great. They make plenty of acoustic guitars at different price points, some with pickup systems, some without. If you do find one with a pickup system, it generally has a Fishman pickup, which is one of the best plug and play pickup systems right up there with the Maton AP15 or so pickup systems. They're great, they just work. Plug them into a PA system to get a really good tone. They generally have a built-in tuner as well. This one is a straight up Dreadnought, so you don't get that, but what you do get is that big full sound. Rings out beautifully, and at the price point these come in at, they're nice and light, they sound good, they play really well also. If you plan on playing live or doing any type of studio recording, Westside Music features cables, microphones, rack unit gear, headphones, and just about everything else you need to get going. I just found something for you. Look at this. Oh my God. Pink, no pink cables. <laughs> In the main room of the shop, we have our effects pedals and the cabinets are pretty deep when it comes to their range of effects. We have everything from Boss, Fender, Seymour Duncan, New X, MXR, Wampler, more, and many others. Here's my first time finding a JHS color box on any Guitar Search Saturdays. This is version one. JHS have also released version number two, which has more parameters. This isn't your typical pedal. What it does, it's aimed to recreate that of a channel strip on a Neve preamp, which means you can use it with microphones. It works great for an instrument line input from a bass guitar or a straight up electric guitar, and then out into a mixer, recording interface, or into an amplifier. It really does a lot. The benefit of the JHS color box is this. You can run a microphone through it on a kick drum or as an overhead microphone, for example, and get a great tone directly into your recording without a lot of post-processing. The difference is quite dramatic. It's my first time seeing one of these in person. Not only is it huge, it looks super cool. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. A massive thank you to Ron and Brandon from Westside Music for letting us do this walkthrough. If you're in the city, go check out these guys. It was a total surprise just how many great guitars, both acoustic and electric, they've got in this shop. A massive thank you to all the channel supporters and subscribers. If you want to check out Patreon or become a channel member, I'll link that down below. It allows us to do really cool things like this. So thank you so much. And Rhiannon, I hope you enjoy your brand new guitar. Thanks for all your help behind the camera. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it. We may review this guitar coming up in a future video, so stay tuned and it'll be featuring Rhiannon instead of me. Sick of seeing me. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.